Hey guys, Anthony, 4x4 Touring Australia. We're headed east on the Barclay Highway. Uh, basically, it's a bit of a dum-dum. The Australian government, this is the situation. So, you know, coronavirus and all that. Uh, there's a case here or a case there, and you know, it's uh, big lockdowns and nobody's allowed into certain states. While they keep flying hundreds and thousands of people in from overseas, from countries that have got heaps of coronavirus, thousands and tens and hundreds of thousands of cases. So we've been in WA, we've been in the Northern Territory, right up the top there. Nowhere, I mean, when I say WA, we've been in WA. We've just come through Northern Territory, nowhere near Darwin or anything, nowhere near any cases, but we cannot get into South Australia. Every state bar Victoria is locked out of uh, South Australia is the way I understand it. So if we're coming down through from WA, uh, up the top there where there's no cases you could call it a green zone but it, look they just don't have green orange or red there it's a bit ridiculous so uh, we're probably we were at uh, three ways roadhouse less than 3,000 k's from home you know a nice few days cruising down direct route we've been in good clean areas and we would be passing through what I call a clean area no coronavirus anything like that but the stupidity of it is we had to turn left and now head east and do a big waste of time. Adds hundreds, many hundreds of kilometers to the trip in an extra day. Uh, we have to head across into Queensland, a state that's got some cases, probably not in the outback, where we're going to be, places like Camerwheel, Longreach, uh, stuff like that. Um, and then down to uh, Cunnamulla and down from there. But it makes it quite a bit longer. And then we've got to go through the state of New South Wales, okay? Which, look, we're in the outback. We don't hear much news or anything, and we don't usually listen anyway. But I hear there's something like 30 to 40 new cases a day of coronavirus, so that could spread. So what the government's done, these between the, the state or the federal government's lack of good management on these sorts of things. The states need to be the same. They need to have green, orange, red zones. They need to do it better. The whole permit system's ridiculous. Um, some of them don't ask many questions and you could just about come in from the wrong places and vice versa. Uh, you know, basically we've got to travel through New South Wales, who's having all these new cases a day. We're forced to do that to get home, okay? Uh, we're essential travellers really, just like it's essential traveller to go to work if you're in your own state and you're going to work each day. Well, it's essential for us to get back, to get back to work as well, right? Like many people, thousands of people travelling around Australia, eventually people's funds run out and they need to get home, they need to get back to work and you're forcing people to do it the hard way. It's putting extra pressure on all the accommodation and other, I'm not gonna go into it, but all the businesses having a hard time at both ends, some getting cancellations unnecessarily, and those businesses and those roads are left quiet, while uh, the other ones have got triple traffic and uh, all the volume there and they're not coping, you know, accommodation's not available, all that sort of thing, so. Anyway, I just sort of do a little video to have a whinge and just, because every day it comes, I go, how stupid is this that you could go from a state, look, Northern Territory, far as I know, hasn't had a case in over a week and it was something like one case and that was it. Might have been a couple, but the point is, it was in Darwin, you know, they had a lockdown in Alice Springs just in case, but I don't believe there was a case there. We've been in the outback, you know, WA, coming through NT, nowhere near any of it many people same situation uh, but a bing it's just completely stupid to force people through a higher risk area if you know what I mean compared to uh, letting them go the right way I believe that we should have been able to fill out a permit for South Australia and say hey we have been you know in you know list the areas as you do like when you go into other states with permits and all that sort of thing list those states and uh, bada bing you're all clear if you want to come past when you're ready uh, you know and then you just think about it so in, in this state of Australia so in South Australia they're not letting Northern Territory in because they had one case over a week ago however most states of Australia are flying in plane loads of people with coronavirus coming from 
out countries that have got stacks of coronavirus and how about the selfish people that are flying out they just shouldn't be allowed to and they're the ones that are flying into these places that are just swarming with coronavirus not that I'm worried about it but it just causes problems for people traveling uh, and these people going there are coming back and bringing it back that's what the real problem is it just seems stupid that you keep bringing letting people fly out and bringing them back uh, they're the ones bringing it here it's getting out from quarantine whatever the case may be but then when you've got one case in a state uh, you don't let them in and, you, and they've had no cases for over a week it's just completely ridiculous please let us know in the comments um, am I missing something or do you agree do you disagree interested in uh, reading the comments either way thanks for watching guys catch up